In this exercise, you will print a print composition in a sheet model to a PDF file. The steps to create a single sheet print from MicroStation are as follows. Step 1. Prepare a model for printing. The best practice is to create a print composition in a sheet model, which is covered in an earlier lesson. The advantage to this is that it allows you to print multiple models on one sheet using different scales. You can directly print from a design model, one model at a time. In that case, you have to place a border and define the print area with a fence. With either method, you must make sure that everything that should not be printed is not displayed in the view. Things like levels, view attributes, and references come to mind. Step 2. Set the printing parameters. In the Print dialog, select a print style, which is a named collection of print definition properties. Or, select a printer and manually set the printing parameters, such as sheet size, scale, and output color mode. Step 3. Create the printed output. You can print directly to a Windows Systems printer or save the print to a file. In this lesson, you will learn how to set up MicroStation's printing system to work with print composition sheets, how to generate a PDF file with advanced features, and finally, how to review print output using the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and in the work page set the following Workspace, Bentley Connect Training, Workset, MS Basics. Click Browse and open printcomposition.dgn from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 12 printing and publishing folder in the course dataset. By default, the dataset is installed in C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash worksets. Open the Models dialog by clicking the Models icon on the Home tab in the primary group. Open the Print Sheet model by double-clicking it in the list. This sheet model has the size of a full-sized A1 paper sheet. Open the References dialog and review the attachment scales of the attached references by highlighting them in the list one by one. An A1 border is attached at full scale of one to one. Two design models are attached at a scale of one to two hundred. And one with a scale of one to fifty. In addition, a raster image is attached for good measure. In the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Print icon. This opens the Print dialog. First, you will select a printer and set the paper size and orientation. You can work with either of these two types of printers, those controlled via the Windows Operating System and those controlled via a Bentley driver. When selecting a Windows printer or one of the Windows options, the printer.plt CFG printer driver configuration file is used to print directly to the default Windows Systems printer or another network printer, much like using a Microsoft Office product. When selecting one of the Bentley drivers, you can select the desired printer driver configuration file. Open the printer menu and select PDF to open the Bentley printer driver configuration file pdf.pltcfg. Set the paper size to ISO A1 and set the orientation to landscape. Next, set the area to print. In this case, the area is already set to sheet because you are printing a sheet model that has a sheet boundary displayed. Alternatively, when you print a raw design model, the area is set to view and the active view number will be used. If there is a fence in the model, the area is set to fence. You can change the print area at any time using the area option. Change the color option to grayscale for a moment.
Note how the print preview updates to show the print will be grayscale. Change the output color option back to true color. Before setting the print scale and position, we first need to check or set the printer units. In the print dialog, select Settings, Units, Millimeter. This sets the printing units to be the same as a model's master units, which in this case is millimeters. The paper size is 841 millimeters by 594 millimeters. Because the sheet boundary in the sheet model has exactly the same size as the selected paper size, the scale is set to 1, where 1 millimeter in the model equals 1 millimeter on paper. As the sheet model is not scaled at printing time, this means the reference to design models will be printed with the respective attachment scales. If the scale is not set to 1, click the Maximize button or manually set the scale to 1. If you set the scale to a higher value, the model in the preview, and on the paper of course, becomes smaller. If you set the scale to a lower value, the model is scaled less and only a part of the model will fit on the selected paper sheet. Before finally printing the sheet model to a PDF file, we want to make sure the display of levels and references can be toggled on and off in the resulting PDF file. To make that possible, we will enable a setting in the printer driver configuration file pdf.pltcfg that enables this ability. In the print dialog, select File, Edit Printer Driver Configuration. On the Base Properties tab, open the Driver Properties panel. Enable the Enable Optional Content setting. In the Printer Driver Configuration dialog, select File, Save As, and save the Printer Driver Configuration file to the file name pdf underscore training dot pltcfg. Close the dialog. In the print dialog, select PDF underscore training dot PLT CFG as a printer driver configuration file to use. Now we are ready to print the sheet model to a PDF file. In the print dialog, click the print icon. In the Save Print As dialog, Navigate to a folder where you want to save the output PDF file, for example, to the msbasics backslash out folder. Save the PDF file as print underscore composition hyphen print sheet hyphen 000.pdf, which is the file name, model name, and a sequence number. Your company may have an established file naming convention, so make sure you investigate this. Using Adobe Acrobat Reader, open the PDF file. In Adobe Acrobat Reader, Click the Layers icon to display the Layers tab. Expand Print Composition DGN Print Sheet References BSI 300 AE9 Atrium DGN Restrooms Levels. Click the I icon that precedes the A G42 G Fit Rest and the A, G, 49, G, fit other levels in this reference to turn these levels off. Close 
Adobe Acrobat Reader. Close printcomposition.dgn. In this lesson you learned how to set up MicroStation's printing system to work with print composition sheets, how to generate a PDF file with advanced features, and finally, how to review print output using Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.